You know, we all have our favorite teachers, whether it was the subject or the way they taught it or just that personal attention they gave us. They leave, left a mark on our lives for sure. Our Rick Portchap introduces us to a teacher who taught his students to find the wonder in the world around them. Louisiana's got so many pretty things about it that uh, we all take it for granted. Revealing the beauty around us is the calling of an artist. Finding the wonder in our midst is an artist's life's work. I started it last week. Baton Rouge artist Stace credits her success to a humble teacher. He was a kind, kind person. Larry Casso spent a lifetime chasing the charm of life on the water. His paintings are a tribute to the landscape he loved. The old tin roofs, the old mills and things like that. He loved that, the swamp scenes, the old derelict boats. Sybil Casso is Larry's wife. You know, when we first got together, Larry and I would go off driving somewhere to go sketch or photograph, and he would say, oh, honey, look at that, look at that. And I'd be looking for this big antebellum mansion, and it was an old shack that you could pitch a cat through the holes in the, in the walls, you know? He took his love for water, watercolors, and oils, and opened a school for aspiring artists. More than 50,000 of them in his lifetime. There are tons of professional artists that came out of that school, and they all give him credit. He was one of the few teachers that I know that really loved sharing their knowledge. It was not a threat to him to share what he knew, and he loved doing it. While other artists competed to hang their works in galleries, Larry would rather the spotlight be on his students. Dad never really was a show off. He didn't want a lot of attention, and he was more concerned about his students uh, getting that, that notoriety. He kept most of his paintings, hundreds of them, under wraps in a storage shed. Only his family knew they existed, until now. Uh, it was pretty overwhelming. Seeing the amount of artwork that he had was very surprising, but in hindsight, not really. This is a preliminary sketch. Sketches, still lifes, and landscapes. I mean, this is a lifetime of work. Oh, absolutely, and this is not even, this is still just a fraction. Larry shared his gifts with his students until his death in 2020. Now his family is ready to share them with the world. It's the coolest feeling in the world to be able to show his work and um, have people be able to see things that they haven't seen in years because they've all been in storage. The world rarely appreciates an artist's gift while he's still alive. Like this is his palette. Larry's gift lives on in his students. I wouldn't be where I am without him teaching me. And the beauty he found all around us. The wonder that we sometimes take for granted. Rick Porche, WAFB 9 News. Thank you for that, Rick. The Shaw Center will display some of Larry's collection in an art show this summer. For a look at all of his work, you can follow the link on our WFB website. Jay.